What is up guys, it's Teletubby Terror here, and uh, I'm doing something rare. I'm doing a Arma tutorial on how to airdrop, or how to make AIs airdrop from a plane without you being the squad leader. Um, I'll make this as fast and painless as possible, but yes, the AIs, no matter what team they are on, will be able to airdrop from a plane or a helicopter, or whatever you wish. So, let's make this as fast and painless as possible. First... For an example, I'll go ahead and use a C-130 because, you know, those those are just pretty cool. Um, typical Marine Corps jet. Jet? Never mind. <laughs> typical Marine Corps plane and, uh, yeah, good for parachuting. So, we're going to want to give this a simple name. Let us just name this Plane 1. Plane 1. Just in case you have multiple planes, plane one will be easy to remember and uh, simple. Um, now, your plane is going to want to paradrop someone. So you're going to want to make it paradrop a man. For this instance, let's go ahead and name this guy something else simple, such as man one. Because obviously, you're probably going to want to paradrop more than one man, but let's just start with one for now. Make sure that those guys are not grouped to each other. And... Make this guy your player. You don't have to, but just for tutorial's sake. All right. So you're gonna want to do two waypoints. The first one you want to do is tell your man or your squad, squad leader, whatever like that. Tell them just give them a move command somewhere. This isn't vital to the pair drop, but as soon as they get out of the plane, they'll try to regroup at this point. And so it's just kind of, you know, for organization's sake so they don't just go around everywhere and then you're gonna want to give your plane a waypoint the plane is what is the command that will actually get your troops to jump out of the plane so your plane you're gonna want to give it a move command as well so give it move and this should be good all right this is pretty simple so far you guys are with me all you need to do to forcibly uh, remove your guys from the plane is type in these words. Now that is what it's supposed to look like, but this is what you type in. Man1, or whatever the name of the thing you're trying to parachute is. So man1 space action space bracket parentheses eject comma and then the name of whatever your thing is so in this case it would be plane one man one space action space bracket quotation eject quotation comma plane bracket that is all you need to forcibly remove your guy from the plane forcibly remove just makes it look like he's parachuting doesn't matter if he ejects it just looks like he's parachuting so that's all you're gonna need if you want to add more guys eventually you'll go You'll just go man two action eject all that stuff. Make sure you have a semicolon after it and a space. But for now, let's see how this works. Um, I'll move these guys closer just so they're not horribly far away. But so yes, I should not have to click anything, and my guy will just jump out of the plane. Let's see how this works. And forgot very important part. To make your guys spawn in the plane without having him to group in the plane, um, you're going to want to put a simple command in the rifleman or whatever guy you're using, Inis Inis initialization? Hope I got that right. But um, yeah, this is where your simple names come in. You're going to want to put this move in cargo, plane one. So make a guy or whatever guy spawn in plane one. Bam, let's try it. Yes, there we go. There he goes. Simple. Uh, I've heard a lot of uh, confusion over this over the forums, and uh, I did some digging, found this, and it's pretty easy. And it will work for enemies, friendlies, squads, whatever you want. 
So we're gonna just we're gonna give our guy some friends just to show you that it works. We're gonna name them man two and man three. Don't forget to make them spawn in the plane. This move in cargo plane one and this move in cargo plane. Two. Plane one still. My bad. Sorry. So now all these guys will spawn in. And let's go ahead and see. Just to make sure that uh, I'm not doing anything, I'm going to go ahead and make myself an enemy and watch them parachute out of the plane. No. I want to face this way. Whatever. Bam. Player. This guy is nothing important, so I won't name him. The annoying thing is you are not able to eject squads from the plane so you have to do each single man separately and this of course is in the plane waypoint so right here you can put a semicolon paste that another semicolon and paste that again and remember to change the names man one eject man two eject and man three eject this should eject all three of them if i did it right so let us make that happen no, right there. All right. Fingers crossed. Just wait for it. Just wait for it. I don't know why I have such big lag times, or loading times, or whatever it is. But uh, we're good now. There's a plane. Should be out right there. There we go. There they are. So, yeah, I hope this will help, guys. I've heard a lot of questions about this. Um, this should work for any Arma game. But uh, if it doesn't, please leave a comment down below because I do not want to mislead you guys. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and leave a rate, comment, subscribe. If there's anything else you want to know, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to make a tutorial on it. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time. This is Teletubby Terror and I'll see you next time.